Hello everyone and welcome to the project on a Spring Boot with JWT token. This is Vikas Kumar from Technodab. Now let's look at the agenda of this video. First of all, we will be looking at what is JWT token. Then we will see why do we need a JWT token. We are also going to make a Spring Boot project. So we'll see the overview of this Spring Boot project, what we are going to make. And finally, we'll be moving to the practical implementation of our JWT project. All right. So uh, what is a JWT token? Now, a JWT stands for JSON Web Token. That is an open standard used to share security information between two parties, that is the client and the server. Now, how the JWT token looks like, it will be looking something like this. It will be having a dot separated format with the two dots in between. And the format will be something like this. The header, this will be the first part. The payload, this will be the second part. And finally, this will be the third part, that is the signature, right? So anywhere, if you see a format like this, you can think of it as a JWT token, all right? Now, each JWT token contains an encoded JSON objects, including set of claims. So basically, if we decode it, you will be finding it like each token will be having a JSON format, having a, uh, some objects that will be stored in the form of a key and values. That is nothing but the JSON format. Now, the JWT are signed using cryptographic algorithm to ensure claims cannot be altered after the token is issued. So every JWT token is a unique and it is very uh, securely signed so that nobody can alter that token. Now let's deep dive into it. We saw a token something like this, which was having a dot separated format. This is the header and the payload and this is the signature. So every token, once we decode it, you will be getting two JSON strings. That is the header and the payload and the second one is the signature. Now let's go to the official website of JWT and that is jwt.io. So once you open it, if you come down, you will see something like this, okay? This is the encoded JWT token. So any token, if you will decode it, you will be getting three parts. The first part is the header that will be having a type of algorithm. In this case, it is HS256 and the type that is a JWT token, all right? The payload will contain the data, the actual data that you want to send to the server. This can be your custom data or anything that is required by your server to recognize it, all right? And finally, there will be the signature. So signature is basically base64 URL encoded of the header, base64 URL encoded of the payload and your 256 week of secret. That is the secret that will be providing it will be making a signature based on all these parameters. All right, now let's move to our slide and look at this. So the same thing we are discussing here, the header it contains uh, two things, that is the signing algorithm and the type of the token, all right? The payload, it will be actual data, or we also call it as a claim. This information is used by server to verify that the user has permission to perform actions that they are requesting. Now the signature ensures that the token hasn't been altered. The party that creates the JWT signs the header and the payload with a secret that is known to both the issuer and the receiver. Now there will be server and there will be a client. There will be secret that will be known to both the client and the server. This secret is used to create the JWT token and this will be used to decode the JWT token. All right, now why do we need a JWT based authentication? Uh, let's assume that we don't have a JWT based authentication and we have a server based authentication. So what happens? We have a client and a server. Now the client sends the request with the session data to the server, all right? And this server session data will be stored somewhere. Let's say it is stored in the database, right? Everything is fine till now. We have a second client, third client, fourth client. We have thousands of clients, okay? And each will be having a session data that will be stored in the database and user requesting the action on the server that will be performed by validating the session data if the user is valid and they will perform the actions. Everything is fine till now. Now let's assume that we have millions of users, okay? 
So millions of users will be generating a session data that will be in millions, right? And each will be stored in the database. Now, what will happen? The load on the database will increase. Also, the load on the server will increase. And what happens when you increase the database load and server? The performance gradually it will decrease and it will be causing a bad user experience. All right. And what will change if we have a, a JWT based authentication? So in JWT based authentication, we have a client and the server. All right. Now the client will be having a private or the secret. Anyone can be used the private key or the secret key. And the server will also have a public key or the secret key. Now the client will be forming a JWT token based on the header, payload, and signature. Now how it will use? The client will be uh, using this private key to form the signature that will be very unique and now the output of this one will be a jwt token all right now this client will be sending the jwt token to the server and server what it will do it will be taking this jwt token it will be using the public key to decode that token into header the payload and the signature all right and this payload it will be verifying against the client if it is a, it is validated successfully then it will allow the user to perform action on the server so uh, in this case, what if we have a millions of users? For millions of users, there will be a separate JWT token for each of the user requesting the action on the server. And it will not increase the burden on the server to store the session information, all right? If we have more than one server, every server can handle the request individually without depending on any kind of uh, database to validate the uh, token, all right? This makes the performance of that system gradually go up. It will also improve the security and the trust between the client and the server. Now, uh, we are going to make a project in this video, right? So let's look at the overview of this project. The skills that we are going to learn, that is a very important part. And we are going to touch upon Java, the Spring Boot, the JWT, and the web services. So these four are the skills that you will be learning from this video. Now. What we are going to do in this project, we are going to expose a REST endpoint that will be generating a JWT token. How it will generate? It will take the header and the payload and it will be signing that with the private key. And the output of that one will be generating as a JWT token. Now, this is the client side code. All right. We will also be writing the server side code where we will be exposing a validate token endpoint. The token that was generated from the previous step will be providing it to the validate token API and we will be using the public key to decrypt and decode that token. And finally, we will be generating a validate token response that will be either success or a failure. All right. So finally, so in this video, we'll be writing the code step by step. But anywhere, if you are stuck or facing some problem, you can refer to the code that will be available at our website and also in the GitHub account that you can check it in the description of the video, right? Now, I would also like to add, like we do so much of research and the hard work and also with the lots of patience, we are making this video that is time consuming as well, right? So all we want in return is that subscribe to our channel so that it will give a moral boost to make more such videos like that. And also like our videos if you really enjoy learning and do not forget to provide feedback and you have any other request that you can write it in the comment section. Now let's move to the practical sessions.